Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to go through the rebuild process on the Bulldog 10,000 pound square jacks like what we have here. Basically inside we're going to have a long screw. It's very similar to this. This is what forces that inner tube down and then comes back up. And we want to show you how to get this changed out. This seems to be a point of failure in most of these. And instead of having to cut your old one off, remove your old one, whatever the case may be, it's a pretty simple way to get in here, get this corrected so you can get back using your trailer. We're gonna start by gaining access under our cap here. So we've got a 5 16 inch set screw here on each side. We're gonna remove that. Now, I like to use gloves when I do this because this is generally full of grease in here. Don't wanna get it on your hands. Kind of clean some of this grease out. You're not going to get it all, probably. It's on the gears, it's on all of it, but at least you're not going to be slopping it around everywhere if you get the majority of the big stuff out of there. Now you can see down in there, we're going to have our main drive gear here. That's going to rotate and it turns the gear below it. That's what turns that screw and lifts it up and down. So we need to get this cross bolt or cross beam here out. This is going to be what your handles and your, your follower leg attach to. So to do that, you can see this large spring. Well, underneath that spring, somewhere around there, we'll have to kind of investigate to check it out and see if we can figure out where it's at. And I think I can kind of see a piece of it right there. So we're going to start there and we'll go from there. But we need to pull that spring back and we'll be able to see a pin in and underneath there. I'm going to have handy what size? A little 7 32nd, 5 16 punch, whatever you got. Pull that spring back and let's see if it's in there. I don't see it there. There it is, right there. It's that little pin. So we'll take our punch. Sometimes you can move those by hand. This one seems like it's going to be a little tougher. You see, I'm just going to. Kind of get that started. Now I'll rotate it this way and continue to punch it out. And we'll just use a pair of pliers and pull that out. Set that aside for now. And now that should have our handle freed up, or our, our drive bar. So let's get that pulled out. Now the spring is putting pressure outward on both sides here. So let's get that out of the way. Keep your finger in there because you're going to have a few parts. Let's see, we've got that on that side. That gear that'll come out. Like that. And that same kind of hex spacer on that side. Now, if we lift up, you can see the big gear down there. We're just going to lift straight up on that. Like that. Set it aside. And then if you look, you can see that little pin right there. It's just a floating pin, so we can slide that out with our fingers. Take that out and set it aside. And we've got our washer. Take it out. Now at that point, we're going to lift the outer tube completely off. You can see some more grease in there. We're going to take that off for now, but when we put it back in, we definitely want to load it back full. Now from this point forward, it's going to be everything in our kit is going to be included here. So we've got our new bearing that's going to come, the kind of the thrust washer. Right now that's going to be our main screw there. We've got these two pins that are going to come with the replacement kit. And then we'll just grab a hole and lift it out. That Acme screw, you can see that's generally what's going to be the damaged area. So you'll take your new rebuild part. This is going to drop right back down and in. Just like that. Take the two pins, place those back in. Got our thrust washer that goes on. Got our bearing that goes on. Now when you put your bearing on, you can see there's a slot around here. We want that to go down. That way if any rain or anything happens to get in, it'll just be shed out and around. 
filling slider outer tube back on. And as you do, just watch and make sure you line up the shaft with the hole, just like that. Now from this point on, if you need to rebuild any of these components, maybe your gears have stripped, maybe these have gotten oblong on you, maybe one of your washers have worn out, you're going to use part number BD500212. That's going to give you everything you need for this top half. So we've got our washer back in. After the washer, we've got our large pin. And remember, this is the one that just floats. And we've got our gear. We're just going to place that down so it captures our pin. And we'll take our spacers and sled those on each side. And we'll get our gear positioning. You can see that little lip. It's going to fit right around our bushing there like that and now what I think is kind of the trickier part is going to be getting our spring back in it's not that difficult I'll start it on the gear side and then just kind of compress it hardest part about it is just a little slippery with that grease on it we get that lined up so to bring the shaft back through and then we'll rotate that hole so it lines up with the hole that's in our gear of course up like that then we've got the pin to go in there let that come back over and capture it at that point we took put our top plate back on we've completely rebuilt this we didn't have to remove it we didn't have to do any of the major stuff like re-weld it on or anything like that all in all it's an excellent way to save yourself a lot of time and money